that last video you've seen, you may have not watched it, but if you have watched it, Obliviate. You have not watched it anymore. You know what you should do? Go watch it, leave a like on the video, and then return back to this video. Because we have our girl Kayla on this episode of Bestie Picks Bay. I dragged my best friend onto here too, and he's going down. Never mind. This episode is 27 minutes. I'm okay. I did not, I did not do that research. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. God damn. <laughs> Why are these videos feature length films? Why they go? I'm not here for a long time. Y'all let y'all know what Drake said. Here for a good time. I'm not sure if a good time's gonna be this long though. This is 24 minutes. Her name is Jenna. Hmm. I think it's a healthy medium. That's 20 minutes. This one looks cool. This one looks cool. Okay, let's get into it. <clears throat> Obliviate. We have our homie Chris here on the video. You know what I'm saying? Bestie Picks Bay by 17. A lot of people, this, this is hot now. It was Jubilee, and I will get into some Jubilee in the future, but we have this now. <clears throat> Had to do some business. I, f five seconds into the video, can't do it. This is Chris, and it's Bestie Jesse Noir. How the fuck do you say that name? Noir, Noir, and Emily. <laughs> which one is which, though? Is this? Don't tell me that nigga name is Jesse or Noir. Ain't hey, no, I'm not going out like that. His name is Noir. Nar. <laughs> name is fucking Nar. Like her face, she doesn't even have the right foundation. You know, not even the right color foundation on top of that's not blended oil that is crazy to me would not let my girl go out that was like that or my daughter or my granddaughter or anything like of the sorts her name better not be emily it, she looks like emily though she got a it's either her in the middle is emily or she's emily today they will help chris find the bay of his dreams they'll choose from nine eligible bays and narrow it down to the best match to their bestie or their bestie mm. this forever 21 ass beat Ah, uh, too bad I didn't see it. Terrible fit. Lose Shrek on the left. Lose her. This instant. She can't be your best friend. Because she don't blend her makeup that well. Speaking of girl, check your whispers. Oh, oh. Sorry. Right. Oops. <laughs> Couldn't call him Nar. All right, we're calling him Nar. What is his name? I didn't read that. Okay, he's Chris. Look at this nigga's fucking boot cut jeans. The boot cut denim he got on right now. You see her fit that's sitting in the chair right now is sitting like this, sitting like these. <laughs> Like she got her fit directly from Forever Twenty One and Hot Topic. I respect it though. I shopped though. I shopped there in the same places. It's it's um it's excellent fashion. That's where I got this shirt from. Actually, I don't know where I got this shirt from. Forever Twenty One. One of the twenty ones. One of the twenty ones. <gasps> okay, I respond to that. She fit the <laughs> sheen ass fit with them them Patrick ass boots on. You know when he had them uh them wait Patrick didn't wear those. You know the sea monster. The dude that had the, the, the claws on his shit, the, mm, the lemon pepper stepper dude, yeah, him. I, feel like I shot a she, let me not attack myself. Okay. You should meet a new barber, your hair cut trash. I cut hair, you see my fade? Peep it, you know what I'm saying? Come on, here, I can get you right. Got the, got the clippers in the back right now, shit, $25? With a, with a ten dollar tip, that is not optional. I can get you right myself, man. And I feel like I know Chris more than anybody else. Is her name Nar? I'm sixteen, and I knew Chris since middle school, and I think I know him pretty well. I'm Emily. I'm fifteen. The war is a foreign. Uh, let me stop disrespecting this girl like this. I'm sorry. Much appreciated. What she sees in this, she was like, I thought all you blackies were the same, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm right. Like, let me let me stop. 
I don't know if Emily is 15 or 50. I don't know. We see a headband, sir. You don't see this. You don't see this haircut eventually. You see it in the vlog that I'm dropping my YouTube. Oh, I know how to pronounce it. All right. I'm Noir, I'm six. They're here to pick me out of bed. I'm Jesse, I'm 16. Uh, I met Chris back in middle school and I feel like I know Chris more than anybody else. I'm Noir, I'm 16 and I knew Chris- Did you get it? Middle school and I think I know him pretty well. I'm Emily, I'm 15 and I met Chris last year. She do crack by any chance? Noir, that's a stupid name. Did she do crack by any chance? You do not respond to my whisper. Let me, let me respond. Motherfucker, I see no response. I opened it and it was going to respond. Hmm. Editor, cut this part out. Like, it's fun to be edited. I'm not editing this shit. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. He's one of my closest friends. I picked these people. Closest friends is even closer to the hen. The hen, I mean, the hen is where you keep chickens. The cock is going and you know what? I tried to rhyme. Let me continue. They're the funniest people I know and they're the most trustworthy. When I saw Chris's episode of Bessie Fix Bay, it was hilarious. And I'm very proud of him. I thought he was going to win. He got I really he, far. I thought he was going to get far because she said her like likes were exactly like him. I thought Chris was going to be eliminated when he said ballroom dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was cool. I thought the McDonald's thing was pretty funny. Yeah. I would take her uh, to Mickey D's and if we hit it off, I'll bring her to Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> Bad mistake. She would have said yes, definitely, if Wendy's was first. Wendy's, the S S S tier of fast food. Don't care. We're definitely looking for a girl who's outgoing. We? What do you mean by that? You got some interest in it too? Hmm. Young niggas. I forgot. They are young. But kids got YouTube nowadays. She really can't YouTube. Like, he can't do it on the left, can't YouTube. How to cut hair. How to find a good barber. My barber sucks. Girl, girl right here looking dead at us right now, hitting one of these. Looking dead at us can't be like how to blend makeup and find the right color foundation. Dude right here can't be like how to not look like uh, that one dude off of Toy Story. You know, the dude with the skull shirt? Him. So are you, Walmart. I am on a different level than these niggas. As you can see, I am more put together. <laughs> Funny. My type of girl is Sid. Him. Not just Camila Cabello, Camila Cabello. <laughs> Who's that? Turn off is if a girl farts in front of you and they don't really care about it. <laughs> See, that's <I> <laughs> 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 it's funny. It's funny. Nice laugh, dude. Has, I just have like preferences. Like they don't have to be. That nigga is jealous as shit. You see him on the left? Five foot five, but they have to. I don't know. Have like. You gonna mess with the screen? Um, the race. <laughs> joke around. I like a girl that's like really fashionable that like could just dress and do anything like that. Okay. He want a Mrs. Put it on to his Mr. Put it on. Mr. Put on that Goodwill drip. Niggas be shirt niggas be uh thrifting. What they, what they, what they... Has nice hair. Camilla is racist. A girl that's really smart. Let me do some research. Camilla. What her last name is? What her last name is? What her last name? Uh, I, was it Cabello? Yeah! Carla Camilla Cabello. Estrabao. That's a long fucking name. Is a Cuban born American singer and songwriter. She rose to prominence as a member of the girl. Don't really care. Oh, she's in 2021 Cinderella. That's where I've seen her from. Yeah, that shit sucks. That shit is terrible. Hot ass. Speaking of hot ass, let me go to images real quick.
Okay, none too exclusive. None too, uh, Cabello. I got it. I get it. Definitely help if she's a singer and does music like that, because... Did you watch it? Hell no. I didn't even watch the original. I barely watch Disney, Disney movies in general. The same way you don't watch black movies, I don't watch Disney movies. Something in common to talk about. And if she's a musician, I'm a musician, then we're like, just give me a kiss, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, Aww. You know, I've been really busy. I do music 24-7. And I mean... What's your name is? What's your name is? A lot of people along... Drop the SoundCloud link. Mm. What's your name is? Mm. And a girlfriend takes a lot of time. I need to be, you know, with her a lot. So... I felt like this was a good way to finally... I can't get off this nigga's fucking fade, fade or lack thereof on the left side. Every time he turned, I'm like, damn. Did, did his barber fuck him up? He was like, hey, man, I'm sorry. Next time, I got you, though. We gonna have to ball it out all this back, and you gonna have to wolf it out for a solid month to grow this shit back. Because I know your hair don't grow as fast as it does. You know, you, you got that weak-ass permanent making your hair dying and shit. Fuck, Nick, no. I'll show you after this. There was a guy on Jubilee with a song, and that shit is so funny. Oh, that dude from the from the trenches? <laughs> it's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that entire shit. It was so funny. It's a dog. Work, work. No, not him. another dude? Okay. Like my friends could pick out a perfect person for me. If Chris were a dog, he would be a chihuahua. He's really energetic and he's just really like out there. And he can be crazy. Yeah, he's a really outgoing person. <laughs> and he's kind of like, like a baby, like. <laughs> <laughs> I know where the best pick is Bay because we know what he likes. All I have to say is I'm single, I'm ready to mingle, but let me start off with a little jingle. First, uh, first, uh, first notice, corny. Second notice. I mean, you know, he's even wearing them jeans every day. I used to be like that. I know the look of those jeans because I've been there. Those are the fit of I don't have any other pants and I haven't bought any other pants. And these are my favorite pair of pants. So I'm going to wear them and wash them every day. I have had several pairs of jeans like that. I can respect I'll it, though. Different right. people, different situations. Chris, you're about to need to go your dreams. <laughs> what up? That is fucking loud for me. You already, you know what? I'm turning down a minute. Let me, let me, let me run that back turbo. Hey, yeah. You see her walking in all confidence, not looking over at a single shoulder, not peeping at any of the girls, not doing anything. Walking in straight confidence. I'm a bad bitch. Even though she looked like Arthur, but I'm a bad bitch. Walking, boom, boots. Gene, uh, whatever that is, looking shit up at the sky. They got no. Is that fucking Billie Eilish? Are you. Nigga. Show it again. Who the fuck is that? Who is that? Who is that? She looked like Meg from Family Guy and Billie Eilish. And she failed at both of the looks. That is crazy to me. And we got, uh, who, who, her? You see, y'all see her? In the red right there. Yep. She's definitely a, a horse girl. She's a horse girl. And horse girls either turn out the 50, it's either 50 50, the 50%, she turns bad. Or the other 50% turns into a Karen and becomes racist. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's 50 50 though. I'm That's really annoying me. I can't get, I can't get over that. I'm sorry. Like that was that was I'm no, I'm sorry for no jump scare warning, but that is crazy to me. Do you see? Do you see that person? Do you see her? I'm not saying that as a derogatory term. I'm just saying that as in the fit in the way that their hair is. But do you see her? That is crazy. I'm gonna let it slide for now. Zoe, you need a better eyebrow, uh, eyebrow marker. You know, get you some better blending. Maybe, maybe get it a little bit better. Your foundation is really, really on there. You know, you didn't have to apply seven layers. This isn't the seven layer challenge. And I like to skate. Loves an afternoon with slopes. I'm 16. Aww. I performed at the Apollo and at Six Flags. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm 16, and I like to. You see how she says Six Flags? She's not trying to. She's not trying to give away her black scent yet. She's trying to secure the bag. And then be herself. Surf. Well, hang ten of your heart. I knew it. And I play bass guitar. Hi. 
from 16, and I performed at the Apollo and at Six Flags. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm 16, and I like to surf. My name is Brooke. I'm 15, and I... <laughs> Hi, guys! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Wait a <clears throat> Hi, guys! Are you guys ready to start the, the, the concert? One, two, one, two, three, four. Bro. Like, bro. <laughs> I was, okay. Her hair kind of cool. Pretty kind of cool. She looks like she burp a lot. I like to surf. My name is Brooke. I'm 15 and I play She looks like she burp a lot. She just looks like a hefty burper. She just crack when it uh, just crack when it does. Ella quiere ser tu bebé. Oh. And my parents are both from Colombia, so my first language was Spanish. That's my name is okay. Rebecca, I'm 16, and my favorite animal is an ostrich. Hey, my name's Rebecca. I'm 16, and I like to make YouTube videos. Aww, what's your YouTube is? Maybe we could collab in multiple aspects. You know what I'm saying? Hi. Where are you two back? I'm 15, and I like to go to the. Get her off the screen. Hey, my name is. Everybody is beautiful in their own way. Let's respect Anna. Anna Let's respect Anna. 16 years old. Stop laughing. And my favorite band is Green Day. I definitely found that it was cool that. Uncover your mouth? No. Spanish. And I just want to say, Quiero conocer la chica de mis sueños. So, there's someone else. This nigga did not just say sueños. I definitely found that it was cool that one of them spoke Spanish. And I just want to say. I take pride in my ability to grab any cultures or languages accent and make it seem like I speak that language fluently. Take, I take pride in that. La Chica de los Suenos. Let me get a El Taco on the go. Who tells you all about this makeup? I've read that. I tell my, you know, there are many hours and hours of being with lots of women and not like that. Then let me rephrase that. Um, I've lived with a lot of with I've lived with women my life through my lifetime. Had some experiences. The California shot is showing Jalen. Let's continue the video. I would not be handling disrespect. I would not be handling disrespect. <laughs> um, I can't, bro. I can't live without music because it changes my mood or puts Excellent answer. Excellent answer. Excellent answer. You can't live without Dee Dee. <laughs> I'm on her. I'm sorry. All black women are beautiful. I can't live without my pet. I can't stop for my left hand. I'm trying. I feel that. I feel that. I can't live without my friends because without them, I would really not have much to do. <laughs> I would say I can't live without my family and because my family. Please my end the clip now. End the clip, and they please. Make me so happy all the time, and I, food is just really delicious. I definitely couldn't. We don't body shame around here, so you know, food is very good. Food is very good. I can't live without my sisters because they're my best friends. And how many you got? They look like you. How old is? They also make YouTube videos. Did she say alien friends? I know she did not just say alien friends. I can't live without my sisters because they're my best friends and also Mac and cheese. She did not just say alien friends. I can't live without my family and friends. She said family. Family sounds like alien when you're busy flapping your gums. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I mention she looks like an alien? I'm sorry. You're beautiful in your own way. I'm sorry. If you come across this video, this is all for entertainment purposes. See the girl on the left with a YouTube video? She knows. Just ask her. Never mind, the rap card was from some meme it's comp, but it's still hilarious. Because I write okay. most of my waking hours, so. Bet you do. Jesus. She writes her what? I can't live without my family and friends because they're always there for me. I can't live without pen and paper because I write most of my waking hours. So. Of course, the pen is black, just like my soul. Oh. You see my shirt? Yeah. That just reflects who I am as a person. Nobody understands me. I'm short. Um, it's some weak ass whispers. Sorry. Damn, bro, she didn't even say nothing like that, bro. 
Meg, damn. She, damn. That is crazy. That is crazy to me. Chris is not really much of like a writer. So it's okay. Just for the She's trying herself to sleep. Bro, you seen the look on this nigga? You seen the look in his eyes? Really much of like seen the look in his eyes when he looked away. No, okay. That shirt is terrible. Also, looked up. He was like, "Oh, poo, who's this first girl that got that got eliminated? Is it a good girl or not?" Fine. Looks. He was like, "Bye." He was like, "Okay." Fine. He, bro, you see that side eye? You let me move myself. You see that? You see that? He's like, "Uh, finally." I was like, oh, thank you guys so much. Can't show my exact facial expressions, but really dodged a bullet on this one. They got Meg from uh, Family Guy up out of there. Uh, I love writing, and so it's not really a problem with me that I got eliminated because if he doesn't like writing, your forehead is shiny as shit. Like him. Chris, I think you missed out. I'm a future famous actor, and you missed out hard. You're a terrible actor because you're not enticing any emotions. She's in there like a robot. She's in there like, <clears throat> Chris, you missed a very good actor. I'm going to be a future actor. Like, no way she's going to cry. Is that what that face is? That is a terrible face. She, you got to add a little bit more frowns to the picture. You got to, you got to. You gotta, you know, her voice is cracking. Yeah. Or, or it's because she's 16. What would you do with $10,000? If I won $10,000, I would spend it all on God. Blow it, on, blow it on more trash makeup. Like that trash ass blush. What the fuck are you spending $10,000 on concerts for? They're, who are you? concerts and i just love the energy if i win ten thousand dollars she go to a lot of concerts she's going wild when she turns 18 if she has not went already that is crazy i would definitely put some for savings smart girl excellent educated black woman and then i would have a shopping spree for myself and then i would like shop for whoever like my nieces and my nephews i would like shop family first excellent answer for them. yep she wrote that down yep if I won $10,000, I would definitely spend it on clothes or fun events. Horses. Concerts or amusement parks. Where are y'all finding all these concerts for? Okay, maybe it's just me and I got to broaden my music taste, but I'd only go to, like, I love all kinds of music, you know, all kinds of other shit, but I'd only go to a concert if it's, like, rap artists. I don't, are these things going to, like, Coachella and, and all these other unknown shit? Like, why are they spending 10000 I get it if it's if it's taking in like the flight, food, the way there, all that kind of stuff. But like, I've never been to a concert a day in my life. I'm saying, like, I haven't either. And I plan to go to one, maybe like Rolling Loud one of these days, one of these years when I can cough up the bread. But what are y'all spending ten thousand dollars for on concerts? They must be pricing the fuck out that merch, just like that. Uh, that uh. That that vamp merch, yep, that Playboy Cardi merch at that concert. That was literally text that said, uh, it was it was some it was text, it was like a lyric or something. Plain white letters, plain black shirt, not a quality shirt either, just a plain gilded tee letters that said like Cardi or something. Sold that bitch for six hundred dollars. If I won ten thousand like, dollars, I would definitely shop with it. And then I'd also She wears a visible line, I can see it. It's not invisible. To spend some on my family. I would definitely shopping, bro. If I was there, a nigga like me would have been like, yeah, actually, ten thousand dollars. That's pocket change. First of all, get your money up, not your money up. <laughs> I'd spend, uh, you know, what I normally spend ten thousand dollars on is, you know, stocks. You know, uh, I'd be trading different, different, different stock options. Maybe, maybe dabbling a little bit in the NFTs. You know, I got like four. Speaking of four, I got four Bitcoins also. Going to Bitcoin? Huh. Go make one then. Go mine one. I had to get it out the mud. Just be like me, man. That's, that's simply how it'd be for me. You just spend it on fucking braces with that hard ass lisp. I know how it feels. Just get it over with now. So when you get older, your teeth not being fucked up. And also my dad has like a little...
What are you spending? Ten thousand dollars on food on? I'm pausing it every two seconds. I'm sorry, y'all. Farm in Colombia, so I'd spend some on like little plants to make it cute. If I won ten thousand dollars, she's spending ten thousand dollars on succulents. If I won ten thousand dollars, that is such a kid answer. That is the most kid answer we have ever come across. A lazy river in your house? Mold. What if it gets cold? Late night, trying to get a snacky, trying to get a, a pop tart. Put that bitch in the oven. Walk back up to your room. Oh wait, you slipped and fell in the lazy river. Now you're drowning. You have death by a lazy river. Niggas in heaven finna be like, ah, oh, that nigga died from a fucking lazy river. This nigga stupid putting that shit in his house and shit. He even got a cover for his shit. Like, you know, he finna get clowned on in heaven. I think Jesus finna pop out and be like, ah, stupid ass nigga. I told you I had not to do that. Hmm. I would say 5k and then put the other 5k towards DreamCon and my other future vacation. Ooh, excellent answer. Excellent answer. I would definitely do that too. 5k towards DreamCon is going like that. Because the flight to Texas gonna be a lot. And then the flight back gonna be a lot. And the food gonna be a lot. And the rent a car gonna be a lot. Are you going to DreamCon? Yes. I have my ticket in my hold on. Let me let me show you the email I got from my ticket sheet. I got GA, but I'm trying to upgrade to, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yes, you. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Does it show anything? Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, shit. Well, that's the email for it. I look like a fucking blob right now. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to meet you. It won't be hard to find your tall ass. I mean, I'm not that tall. I'm only like 6'5 and some change. There's going to be a lot of other tall people there. I won't stand out from the crowd like a giraffe on my long ass neck anyway. I heard you. That's really what you, really what you think about me? Oh, please. <laughs> Back to the video. Donate? That's not a tax write off. If I buy a pent what penthouse are you buying with ten thousand dollars she must be buying a penthouse in the middle of idaho ten thousand dollars i'd probably go traveling around the world excellent answer bora bora excellent answer go to bora bora or florida yep i'm on that yep we think the same yeah. florida we don't think the same no more take them thoughts out of my head take them thoughts out of your head i'm not going to florida just no no. Chris would probably spend his money that he got for, for his family, maybe music. Stupid things. We're gonna eliminate Brooke, sorry, but I feel like you're answering Chris's answer. You see her smile drop? Instantly, she was like, oh, she was so confident with this smile, too. <laughs> she, seen them she seen them talking, she was analyzing conversation. And then she was like, okay, yep. She got the fucking bulky ass feelers on, too. Fake ass uh, Balenciagas. Hate them shits. I hate them shits with a passion. Eliminate Brooke, sorry, but. She had boop. Drop that smile. Damn. I feel like your answer and Chris's answer aren't really similar. Mm, mm, mm. How lazy river not go? He, they said he would buy stupid stuff, so I guess it correlates. Well, there goes my soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's not possible to buy a mansion, but I'd buy like a really cute place. When he said, "There goes my soulmate," is she? Did she dye her hair brown by any chance? Me, it was funny because it was like not. What was the worst lie you have ever told? I shattered like a jewelry box when I was younger. Like accidentally it was glass and I said that it wasn't me. <laughs> I blamed it on my sisters. So I was trying to That's typical kid activities though. That's typical kid activities. You can't, you know. Cook food and like sometimes I don't pay attention. And I left it on and get her the fuck up out of here. No, sir. Got to get up out of here. If you don't have a spouse, I don't care if you're uh, a woman or not a woman, a man or not a man. 
if you're of the male gender or the female gender or whatever gender you prefer. If you don't know how to cook, you don't have basic human necessities. And it started to learn up, pick up some YouTube videos, pick up a cookbook, pick up a, a chef knife, order one from Amazon, get a recipe book, something. Learn to cook. Not that hard. To burn. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So I put, I still put it in the bowl. Mm -hmm. And then I put the bowl on plastic. I don't know why I did that, but I put it on the plastic and it started to melt through. So I just left it there. I went to school and I was on the phone with my mom on the way home. And then she was like, she was in her ass. I know that. Pause. Y'all know what I meant. But she was in that phone. Like, I know you didn't like she was in that phone. What is this? So I try to blame my dad. Like, oh, I don't know why it's like that. Maybe he came home and yeah, that was the worst lie. The worst lie. I was the lie the fact that she has a dad or she blamed it on her dad? It was a lie ever told was probably being with someone I shouldn't be with and telling my mom I'm with someone else that they do like. <laughs> Me and my little brother have like a rivalry. That's a typical so lie. When he was younger, I think it was like his eighth birthday or something. He got like a whole bunch of donuts for his birthday. And like I ate his last like two or three donuts just so he couldn't have any. I wasn't even hungry, but. My sister would do some stupid shit like that and then gaslight me to make it seem like I didn't have any in the first place. What's your worst lie? I can't even think of it right now. That's one thing about me. I am terrible with on the spot things. Like if it's, if it's on the spot, somebody be like, what's your favorite movie? I'm like, um, the Avengers? I, I, I don't know. I can't I'll think of it. I'll cultivate it. Next stream, coming back with a question. Take your time. I'm gonna take the rest of this year. <laughs> that little brother thing. <laughs> the worst lie mm. I ever told was to a camp counselor when I used to do a YMCA camp when I was in like third grade. And my friend chased I definitely lied about some 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 crucial shit. Definitely lied about some crucial shit one time. Me into the bathroom. I forgot what I it was about though. The toilet, but when I jumped off, the toilet seat shattered. And I told the camp count She was hitting devious slicks before devious slicks was hitting devious slicks. Yep. That I got there and it just It's going to YouTube something be quiet. I don't know what happened. And I n I never got caught. Speak when needs to be spoken. Say your words. Speak it with your chest too. Hot, so so I told my mom but, but, I was staying home because my parents were both out. I was actually out with my friends. I'm really sorry, mom. She's going to watch this. It's going to be really bad. The biggest lie I ever told was... So crazy. Haha. <laughs> I feel like none of these are that bad, though. I'm thinking... I mean, it's not like 16-year-olds are going to have the deepest, darkest secrets that could be withholding uh, their, their knowledge on nuclear codes or some shit. I'm just expecting them to be a little deeper, though. Maybe they're withholding some information here. I don't know. To one friend's house when I was really when I said I was really at the other like I'm never gonna do that again because I got into a lot of trouble but those are common you know what I can't hmm. really say I lied to my parents because <laughs> if I lie they would find out I'm telling you I'd be lying like fuck you that right now they're, they they're on point with that stuff like they would know I'd be lying like fuck not in a moto because I don't even talk to them no more. <laughs> I don't know but my worst my worst recent was me hiding a hickey from my mom's with no foundation not fun. Damn. Chris wouldn't bother lying to his parents because he knows they're going to find out anyway. Those bring back terrible memories of my freshman year. Your hormones hit. Somebody else comes in compatible with you. A hormones hit. How to get mix. So sorry, Gianna. Um, Chris just wouldn't bother sneaking out. She wore an Invisalign, but she needs some invisible whitener. That shit. Damn. A whole block blocks of butter and hair gums. Just two stacks of just butter, butter. Get foundation, lifesaver. I don't even get them in the first place. Hi. Why is she side eyeing girl like that? Wait a minute. You see that? You see that? That's a look of a grown woman in a girl's body. <laughs> I can't get I over that. They should have given me another chance because I'm not gonna. They should give your Squidward nose ass a smaller nose. Give you money for that. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. My yeah, I am. Are behind me. I think Chris is pretty cute, but like he's missing out on me. So, if you're going on vacation, where would you want to go? Would you want to go somewhere like beachy or like touristy or like hiking and like nature? Y'all answer this in the chat too. For me, vacation. Has to be tropical, beachy, lots of sun. You know, I don't normally get out the house much. 
And my dream place to live is a chill, little, cool, little, like cold place, you know, somewhere in Colorado. Like I want to live in Essence Park. So, you know, imagine just living in a cool little Essence Park and then on vacation, you go and flip the script, go to Bora Bora, you know, you got ocean all around you, seagulls, maybe even L.A., I don't know why you go to LA for vacation because all you're going to see is homeless people, trash on the ground and smog in the air. But if we were looking at the dream version of LA, you know, palm trees, beautiful beaches, beautiful bitties, you know what I'm saying? I would, I would, I would, I'd rather take vacations there because I don't want to vacate. Who would want a vacation? And unless you already live in that in in like the sunnier tropical areas and then you want a vacation in like Colorado or something that'd be pretty cool I already went to my dream vacation spot my caps are on Sigh. Bahamas is so motherfucking pretty yeah I go to Bahamas that'd be that'd be and why? I would go to like the only valid answer I feel like it's like Greece of everything. It has I do forget that places outside the US do exist that is true maybe even France hmm what else hmm other places that are touristy outside of the United States. Touristy, but it's also beaches and it's really pretty. There's South like, Africa. I would go to like Jamaica and stuff because I'm an island girl, you know. Island. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even. I'm not fucking into it. Because right now I'm currently learning like. It at least cool. Of course, your average answer for teens would also be Japan. Japan got to be somewhere in here. Japan got to be somewhere in here really basic italian and i'm learning it right now so i would go there uh -huh. i would go to iceland because i think you look like you are directly from there straight iceland they have really cool things to visit there yo daddy probably from iceland and straight viking from iceland it's really pretty from the mountains of caucasus <laughs> i love that movie it looks pretty i would probably want to go to brazil but not like the touristy area i want to i would want to go to like the pueblos just to learn a bit like about she been learning okay japan do not like us they do they just don't see very many very many of us so they're like what is, what is that why they skin black is, did they blow up you know the locals that's all about the culture they just not used to us and just absorb all of that. indians don't like us because i've never been and i would kind of want to like it's really pretty there and warm. She's been deceived by the media. Warm. I'm cold a lot, so it'd be really nice. I would want to go to Costa Rica because I've always wanted to do like a jungle adventure, but also you can chill on the beach. I would travel to like a tropical, you know, very. Japan was not here. Type place. Like a place wow. that it needs to have an ocean. It needs to have sand. It needs to have sun. Those are my three. <laughs> a beach. Basically a beach. I wouldn't want to go to Antarctica. <laughs> that is a weird vacation spot. You can't even leave outside of the house you get in. Is there an airport in Antarctica? I wonder how the cold affects like the engine. What if you just like never mind. Chris likes anywhere tropical and anywhere like kind of out of the country. So sorry, Ali, but he kind of wants somewhere. California is sort of tropical if you mix it. It makes it flippy, sippy, lippy in the right direction. You just out and. Damn, they just I feel like they have a they since the beginning of the the girl showcase that they've seen, they definitely had a girl in mind and they're just quickly eliminating any other girl that isn't them for the smallest reason. <laughs> Whack ass fit. That was good. Good fucking riddance. Hi. <laughs> I know they teens, but they don't know how to dress. I think I'll try. What did he just whisper? I can't read lips. I'll try to I'm not gonna attempt that. Y'all got that. I go to California solo because I still really want to go. I think the lazy river answer was one of my best answers because I would definitely buy not that, even the close. that much money. No, you would not. Why wouldn't you? That much money? I don't mean to sound privileged, but I'm pretty sure your priorities with $10,000 should not be a fucking lazy river in your house unless your house is already big, but you said you live somewhere cold. So why would you have a fat ass, cold ass, annoying ass lazy river in the middle of your house where your dog can slip, fall, drown? You know, they don't know how to doggy paddle with a fat ass. It's not going well. It's not going well. It's not going well. That mic is so crisp. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream also. 
Uh, damn, they visited you, Walmart. Better not. Better not. This shit is ass. Like, you go to Hollywood, you're like, hey, dang, this is where, this is where dreams are made. Hell no. That's where homeless people are made. You want a lazy river in your house. It can go everywhere. You can sit in a tube and eat on it. It's like the best thing. So what's something you... You can sit on a tube in a stationary pool in your backyard. You value the most in a relationship. I value loyalty. Mm, the juicy questions. The juicy questions. Without that, and it's not fun. <laughs> I value trust. She's been hurt. Hurt people hurt people. You can't be loved without any trust. So mm. you can't have one half of That's crazy. I yeah. value loyalty too, because I feel like if you lie into a relationship, then it always isn't going to work out. I think I value communication most in a relationship because I feel like people should always be able to talk things out and not just leave things silent. You should always be able to share things. He has done that once in his lifetime. Be able to talk things out and not just leave. He's like, damn. I've lost several very bad women in my life because of that. Things silent. You should always be able to share things with each other and not let like anger get in the way. I value loyalty. And Am I tripping her or where the fuck did she come from? I don't remember her being here. Am, because I'm a positive person, so where did she come from? Be, like, happy and always down to have a I don't remember her. I don't, wait a minute. Chris has never had a girlfriend before, but he really values someone who's going to be. Pardon me. Pardon me. I'm going to go back to the video at, a, at the right time. Hold up. How old is this nigga? I think he's 15. I think he's 15. And have a good time. Um, I'm sorry, Graceland, but Chris would really like trust and loyalty in a relationship. BLM. BLM. <laughs> she, bro, that, she, I can't even get the words out. But, um, I mean, sorry, let me go back. Graceland, but Chris would really like trust and loyalty in a relationship. She's like, damn, finally. My fucking feet hurt. Bye. She hits that cool little bye. Chin up. I'm finna go. I'm finna go talk to my other nigga anyway. Period. Per. You know what I'm saying? Like, she did not care. That felt kind of dumb because... Exactly. To me, it was more personal of what you would look for in a relationship. I don't know what cartoon, but he reminded me of a cartoon character. Talk that talk. The Get the roast in. Chris is a big dancer. Okay. So show us your best dance moves. Please don't. <laughs> she hit the G Willikers. <laughs> Love to dance. So whoa. Your best dance moves. Learned that shit off of TikTok yesterday. She's hitting the fucking the dancing straight out of the 2002. Like, she has the nerve to hit the G. Will the girl on her side took from her influence with them fat, long ass noses and also did the G. Willikers, but without as much sauce. She hit it the boom. Only the wrist had movement. Usually you have the whole shoulder, whole body in sync, you know, hit the. You know what I'm saying? Or other, you get other directions. You know, the original one, whoa, you know what I'm saying? She didn't hit any of those. She hit the. <laughs> These white women suck. <laughs> she hit half of a dance move. She didn't even add the extra effort to jump with one foot to shoot, shoot. You know, I was killing that dance when that shit first came out. And she hit the, let me go ahead and turn around and park. Like, bro, that weak ass whip too, bro. What is that? Ain't no way this nigga grooving with it. He trying to hit. He definitely trying to, he trying to get some, uh, some poo nanny. So unfortunately, Zoe, um, Chris is really big in dancing and I suck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's big in dancing. I knew that I was gonna get out when the besties. She looks like she's gonna grow up to become a secretary at uh some random middle school. 
asked me to dance. Or I high school. I to dance with my friends, and I feel like if they were here, I'd be more comfortable. When I saw Chris for the first time, I was like, oh, he looks a little young for me. What is the most embarrassing? I didn't even check their ages, I'm not gonna lie. Usually, these people are 18. Like the people that are that they're trying to the besties are trying to pick for bays are 18 and the besties are 16 and the actual person that they're picking the date for is like fucking 12. Like it is not right. It is sick. Thing that I've done was I was at a Didn't they just ask a question like this? And I went into the parade and I started to dance in front of everyone. It was embarrassing. How's that in, that is embarrassing. Me, that's not embarrassing. Do it, so. That's just how to that's just how to kill social anxiety 101. They've probably seen you for a quick second, laughed at you for 10 seconds, and then continue on with their day. They don't care. It's like, ha ha. Besides, like, dancing, like, two minutes ago, like, in the fifth grade, we had to, like, think of traits that, like, could describe nerdy characters. And I was like, Fred. And then the teacher said, oh, that's my dad's name. And she was really serious, and I just felt so bad. <laughs> um, I was ice skating on a lake, and I was the only one out there because I was showing my friends a trick, and it literally cracked. It was really embarrassing. It was like not. It was like not even like this high, but like still, it's really embarrassing. <laughs> She's adventurous. Anthony, Laura, we have to let you go because Chris's brother's name is Fred. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> L brother name. <laughs> I can't be the only one. I know I'm in women's business right now, so it's not my business. But I hate. Them pants, them extreme flood warning high water ass pants that they put on. It's annoying. It goes all the way up to they fucking the top, the bottom of their rib cage and goes down barely past their shin. It is fucking annoying. Please stop buying it. Fast fashion is terrible. <laughs> them hoes is eating the fuck out her stomach. You see how she see how she had to but in them shits up. She bought three sizes down. <laughs> it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. No, I'm sticking with that answer. It's like one of the first things I thought of, and I thought it was funny. Chris reminded me more of a younger brother than a boyfriend. I did not think I would make it as far as I did because oh. I thought he would. You know, really, I don't have it tucked in. in me. In thirty seconds. Or Maybe like. Maybe like have it on, but then have a, a cool little pair of boots on. Not them uh them them cowboy bebop fours on. Maybe you have a cool little pair of boots, get you a nice little blazer to go over it, but don't actually wear it. Put it over your shoulders, like those uh like those exotic girls, you know, the you put the ones you see in, in the in the Instagram post. And then wear like a cool little, cool little top with it, maybe the same top, and then maybe a nice little, a nice little hat, you know what I'm saying? And then that's the fit for today. But just have them hoes sucking the fuck at your stomach. Less, tell us why or a loose shirt. Yeah, a loose shirt too. Because cool little vintage I'm on. Going and I missed school for this. <laughs> and um, damn, <laughs> I don't know. I like to dance. You know. She take all she APs. Because I'm really loyal and honest, and also I'm she takes notes. It takes her a cool ten minutes to set up her notebook every time. You know, the, you know the girls that write down notes in exaggerated terms so topic slavery colors we're gonna write slavery in green we're gonna underline it in pink we're gonna draw a cute little box around it in orange and then we're gonna draw two little uh two little pieces of cotton on the top right and top left ah slavery notes like bro write down the notes and be miserable like the rest of us damn Kind of a fun time. We always have a good time. We're not funny. Use these hoes in the test anyway. Like, <laughs> so yeah, pick me. I think I know. What? Yeah, I and the cut is really fucked up. That is crazy. Okay. So Rebecca, you won. Chris, it's really good that you can have a fun time and are really outgoing because that's one of like the most. That's so anticlimactic. Yeah. Ashley does have the best fit out of them all, though. Granted, it's the basic. White Air Forces tied up to the fucking top, tight as shit, with the classic uh, Forever 21 ripped jeans, cool little sweater she got on, red top, blonde hair, you know, basic, but better than the rest of them. Dancers. Rebecca, almost there. Her shoes, I don't know what she got on, and I don't know what she got going there, but it's not, it's not, not giving. Nah, you know what I'm saying? 
sorry. Bye. Bye-bye. I wouldn't have changed my answer. I didn't think I was going to make it that Okay, far. sis. Because I was wearing a lot of brighter clothes and he was wearing a lot of darker clothes, so I thought it would just be different interests. I wouldn't be his bae, but he seems like a really nice friend. I won! Yeah! <laughs> Hey. hey! What's up? What's up? Hi. Nice to meet you. I guess we had a lot of things in common. Yeah, she's pretty cool. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> her makeup is fucking terrible. All of her friends, her family, and whoever else was in that household before she left is not on her side, and they all went to see her fail. You're a really good couple. So, Rebecca, this is Chris. Chris. Hey, Rebecca. Chris. Hi. Welcome yeah. to your life. So she's really outgoing, just like you, and she likes tropical stuff, and I think you guys would get Aww. together well. Yeah. Peach person, right? Yeah, definitely. Cool, nice. Wow. I think it's a great match. We have a lot in common. Yeah, I think they did really good, so I'm happy. I think my friends did a really good job, and uh, I don't know, I'm just excited. I'm really excited. I think we have a lot in common, so I'm excited to see where this goes. I thought I was going to get out on... Y'all may be asking why I'm jamming out right now, but y'all, do you not hear this funky ass beat right now? Funky in an excellent way. I'm getting down to this. On the vacation one because I wasn't sure if he's like a beach person or more of a city person, but I guess I answered it right. You know what's funny? My Spanish teacher talks about Costa Rica a lot. Like what she says about it sounds like a pretty cool place. I like to dance. I definitely think that Chris needs to help me out a little bit. He can teach me. Are those her pockets? More dance moves. I Are her pockets hanging out? Of her jeans. Am I tripping? There's some long ass pockets if they are. I'll probably teach her a little wrong. Does she have fucking collars on her jeans? Maybe. Some salsa, some salsa, salsa. We go back to gymming. <laughs> yeah, I don't hmm. think I can do that. <laughs> I'm gonna get my guitar and play jingle for you. <laughs> Damn, those fast. Be a cool girl, great laugh. I wanna get to know you. I hope, I hope, I hope. That you feel this way too. So thank you. You remind me of that one kid, uh that elevator dude. Uh not elevator, that piano kid from Vine way back in the day. Way back in the day. Thank you, 17 magazine, for this cute girl I see. Oh, last second rhyme. That's cute. <laughs> I think they did amazing, and you know, snap with your left hand. Really nice, and we exchanged Instagrams and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens. Oh. I looked at my friends and I was like, "Listen, guys." <laughs> at least that's what I was thinking. Well, now I know like what happened. Of course, show one hit there. When they were in the back room and they were, I forgot the rest of the lyrics. Stuff like that. I don't know. It opened my eyes. <laughs> His fit kind of clean though. I'm not gonna lie. His chain is ass, but the rest of his fit's kind of clean. Thanks for watching Bestie Fix Bay. For more Sorry. That was a vine, duh. Uh shut the f up. <laughs> oh yeah, a fairy slammy. Uh, yeah, it was that one, it was that one, it was that one. <laughs> what are you responding dots to? Go uh, subscribe and dislike for the cringe content. It wasn't cringe content. The The dancing was cringe. That was it. Um, all right. Bye, YouTube. I hope you guys did the video. It was a whole fucking hour long, hour long special. Just straight laughs.